Today, we're going to have a look at the Laser Master 2 Pro S2 from Ortur with a long focus laser module. We're going to be testing both cutting and engraving capabilities. The laser comes with end stops that allows you to do automatic homing to zero the machine. It has a working area of 40 by 40 centimeters. In the box, you get the gantry, the controller with a lot of safety features, the X and Y axis, the drag chain already with cables, USB cable and air assist tube, the power supply, the laser, distance gauge, air assist, timing belts, brackets, screws, tools, as well as some test materials. The assembly of the laser is not the easiest we've seen, but it's not very complicated. If you just follow along with the videos online, you can expect to spend about half an hour setting it up. The frame is very sturdy and the machine sure looks good as well. Remember to release the emergency stop button before use. We started with a cutting test of 4mm plywood. Note, this is ordinary plywood and not special plywood. The machine is running at 130mm per minute, 100% power and one pass. The square did not instantly fall out, so let's give it a push or two. As you can see, it did cut very well. There was just a few fibers left holding it back. Note that variations in the wood itself, glue, twig nuts, etc. will affect the cut. We're using the Orter LU2 for LF laser. LF means long focus. This is a 5,500 milliwatt laser designed for cutting, but it's also good for engraving. We're going to do more cutting tests both with and without the air assist, but first a little bit of engraving. Before you start cutting or engraving, you must always adjust the focus of the laser. This is simply done with a supplied distance gauge. Just place the gauge on your material and lower the laser before tightening the thumb screw. This is one of the easiest focusing systems out there. We're gonna do the engraving with 100% power and 10,000 millimeters per minute. And as you can see, this cutting laser module also does a good job at engraving. And we can check the curve or thickness of laser with this highly accurate ruler. The lines indicate different widths. Let's do a measure on the back side of the E, as it's one of the straightest lines here. It seems to be about 0.2 millimeter thick. Then we're testing black acrylics. But first, we have to mention that this laser was sent to us from Cinesmall.com. Cinesmall is an official distributor of Orter with local warehouses in the US and EU. I can offer very fast delivery and great after sales service. We tested it and they gave us great answers. Cinesmall.com has a lot of helpful information on the website as well. We're cutting three millimeter black acrylics at 100% power, 100 millimeter per minute and one pass. The recommended settings are two passes for five millimeter. So we're hoping one pass will do. And by just touching the acrylics, it falls down. It left a very clean cut. We'll soon test the air assist, but first let's see if we can cut through this 10 millimeter pine board. The recommended setting stops at nine millimeters, but let's use them and see how it turns out. We're running the laser at 100% power, 100 millimeter per minute and three passes. That's a clean cut. In just three passes, it cut through exactly 9.68 millimeters of pine board. As mentioned, this laser module also comes with an air assist. This will help clean up the results of cuts and especially on wood where charcoal and melted wood tends to stain a lot. Let's make one cut without the air assist for comparison. Attaching the air assist itself is very simple. When a machine is unplugged, disconnect the laser, loosen the grub screw and unscrew the nozzle. Then place the air assist and tighten the grub screw. The protective shield will fit also when using air assist. 
Then let's do a new cut with the same speed and power, but this time with the air assist to see if we can spot the difference. The first cut without the air assist was very yellow and stained, while the new cut is super clean. I can't notice any stain at all. This was achieved with a simple and inexpensive airbrush compressor. We've been using the long focus laser, but if you'd like to see how the short focus laser will perform, click this video. We did test the short focus laser on the Alfero 2 from Orter. This is a more entry level laser engraver and cutter. Hope to see you next time.